people, welcome back to the Magpie Channel on TV and welcome to St James's Park, what is currently the club shop behind me, the Castor Club Shop, which is about to undergo a comprehensive refurbishment and it will actually be closing very soon ahead of Adidas's new deal this summer. Now, I have been there myself and funny enough, the Adidas planners are in there right now. They are in the building right now, planning things, working things out. We are going to talk about the temporary club shop that will be over there at Strawberry Place Car Park whilst this new one behind us is getting a complete Adidas revamp. It should be looking absolutely double sexy by the time the summer comes round in time for the new home shirt. So I've got a little bit of a scoop there, a little exclusive news to break to you from what I've learned from inside the club shop today. But before we do all that, I just want to give a shout out to a new startup business events company in Newcastle and Gateshead, specifically District Scouts on Victoria Road. It is called Showstars. It is a performing arts camp. They are looking to get up and running during the holidays, during the school holidays, to keep your kids entertained, dancing, singing, performing arts, all of that. And they are going to be up and running in this Easter break. So if you want more info, you can email showstarscamp at gmail.com and drop them a nice little follow on Instagram and Facebook as well, Showstars Camp. Always want to support local businesses there, local startups, and this one means a lot to me. So hopefully you he's like it and have a look at it and enjoy it. Right then, so behind me is the current club shop, Castor Club Shop, because let's remember, since Castor took over, as part of their deal with Newcastle United, they had full reins over the retail and commercial side of things for the kit. Now that is about to change. With Adidas's new 40 million a year deal at the tune. Massive increase in obviously revenue and everything else for Newcastle United from Adidas in comparison to Castor. I mean, there's just pennies, wasn't it, compared to this? What was it, seven, eight million a year? Some of Daft Punk. It was even five at one point. Newcastle managed to get out of that deal early. We've all seen in the documentary them flying over to Germany there for the Adidas headquarters. The deal was struck. We know Adidas is going to be our new manufacturer from the 24-25 season and this shop behind us is about to get a complete revamp a comprehensive refurb is what the reports are saying and that tripod is wobbling all over on a windy day here in Newcastle so hopefully it doesn't go flying but aye this club shop behind me is going to be closing in the next couple of months around May time it's going to hopefully be open until the end of the season then from the end of the season until May June they are going to be ripping it out inside and out and especially behind the scenes as well because I'm hearing you know behind Behind the scenes, things are falling apart a little bit. You know where the stock is and everything, it's not looking great. But apart from that, you know, inside, there's talks of where the escalator is at the minute, where it's like the exit uh, on that side behind me, there's an escalator. They're on about moving that to the corner where the stairs are, so they're on about doing that. Like I said, the Adidas planners are literally in the building behind me right now as we speak on this Wednesday afternoon. And they, were, they had the graphs out, they had the signs there, they had all the plans and everything for what they've got in store for the new club shop. And as I mentioned before, during that time to keep people's jobs and to keep the, the club shop open, I imagine they're just going to ship all the Castoria stuff to the car park. Not to the skips just yet, but to some porter cabins. It's going to be like an old primary school knock-up. Remember when your primary school was getting a, a part of the school was getting done out for ages and they knocked up a porter cabin? That's what it's going to be like here for the club shop. So the club shop is going to be in the car park down there next to the stack fan zone where obviously that's getting loads of work done. I just took a video of that. You can have a look at that now, which is also aiming to be open for June as well, hopefully for that England game here on Monday, June the 3rd, if not before that, maybe for the last home game of the season, or oh, that's a push, I'm hearing June is the target now for the stack seller fan zone, which, like I say, everything's changed around here, and there is an abundance of change happening in and around St. James Park, you think the amount of work that's going on and the money that's being spent on that fan zone, on the club shop behind me, and as I've said, where I'm looking now, behind the camera, there is the, the Strawberry Place car park, which is going to be the site for that temporary club shop to sell off all the Castor gear, I'd imagine, because at the minute, in there, it is an absolute car boot sale in that club shop. I'm telling you, everything is like 70% off. So if you're looking for any stuff from this season, the training gear, the leisure wear, the kits, I think the kits are like 20 quid now. 21 quid, I think the third kit was. Unbelievable stuff, so cheap. I paid 65 just a few months ago. Ah, robbed. Robbed, but obviously they're getting rid of all the stock, and this always happens. You know, they, listen, the, the, the new shirt's going to be out in June. They want the club shop. Adidas want that new store to be open in time for the home kit launch, which will be probably the second week of June. You know, last season with Castor it was uh, the middle of June, early June, so you'd be looking around the same for that. And imagine the frenzy that is going to be here on that kit launch because even this year, well, last season now. For that, for that kit and for everyone getting the Champions League badge on the sleeve, it was mental. I've never seen anything like it. There was people in there getting stuck in lifts and everything. It was unreal 
the scenes on that day back in June for the home kit. Just queues down the road, round the corner, bloody all the way back to wherever, you know what I mean? Hours people are waiting, hours, three, four hours people are waiting for their kits. Remember that I did a kit launch video for all three kits, you can check them out on the channel if you haven't seen them already, because it is kind of mental how busy it was that day. And imagine for Adidas when the three stripes return, the iconic sponsor of the Magpies returns this summer. Queue's going to be through the roof, they're going to be out the door, it's going to be absolutely insane. So Adidas are wanting a nice fancy new modern club shop behind us there for the two Army. They're going to get that done, they're going to get that in, ready for June. So like I said, around May time, this is going to shut down this store. It's going to give them four to six weeks to get it all revamped inside. Totally refurbished, comprehensive refurb, they have said. And in the meantime, over there, you will have those porter cabins knocked up as a temporary club shop with, I guess, everything else from in here just getting thrown in there to get rid of because I mean there's literally t-shirts in there for two pound two British pound there's a t-shirt in there for I mean Jesus even if you just want to wear it as a pyjama top do you know what I mean you kind of get out that cheap I should have stocked up on them to be fair just just around the house my god two quid for a top I mean going back in now I've said it it makes sense so I, it's mental in there like how cheap things are really really cheap jackets like these ones that were like you know 95 quid the other ones 75 quid they're now like 15, 25 quid not that Unbelievable stuff, because obviously a lot of people won't want to be showing that too much next season. They'll be wanting the Adidas back, but to be fair, now it is. It's, <laughs> times are hard. You know, <laughs> Bills are expensive. Life is expensive in, in Britain, so no shade and no blame if people want to do it. You know what I mean? And they want to get in there and wear the kits, because listen, Adidas is going to be expensive. It's going to be amazing. It's going to be much better, you hope. But for the Newcastle buyers to still be on there, you can still rep it at a much discounted price. So the ceiling there is... Unbelievable, to be fair. Really, really good. So just to reiterate again, in fact, if I haven't put them over the screen, here is some designs and images of what those prefabricated containers will look like for the temporary club shop. So like I said, they will be there in place over just a month or so, six weeks maybe, maybe even just to get rid of all the store stock, to be honest with you. They'll be down there in that strawberry place car park. It'll be a free-for-all. That'll be an actual car boot sale. People be coming up in the car park, popping the boot open, buying the two-quid tops in, <laughs> taking off. So the good thing is with that is, you know, at least people will be keeping their jobs in this time. They said that's a reason, you know, to keep people's jobs and all that. But let's hope, you know, when Adidas comes in, the, the staff that have been here for a while can keep their jobs. And uh, Adidas makes a good deal of it and makes a good, I'm sure they will. I mean, I'm excited to see what it will actually look like inside that club shop behind me. Because to be honest, and I said this in there, you know, it's, it doesn't look bad in there. There's some nice neon signs. It's a bit, it's not like it's ancient or anything. But again, I think it's it's cracks papering over the cracks I think there is some parts where they've got away with stuff and especially behind there and the stock levels and everything that don't sound great so a nice value has to come in and want to make it their way and want to look their way and I'm sure it'll look quality because it'll be a nice three straight badge up there obviously the Adidas Rangers are going to be unbelievable aren't they there's going to be there's talks of retro Rangers coming back you know the Sunset keep our kits the uh, 95 96 away kit all the training wear the leisure wear there'll be so much merchandise and like I said now We've got control of it again. Now Adidas has come in, the club have actually got full control again over our retail and commercial side of things, which is a big bonus. So they can really capitalise on that. And again, the more they sell, the more we buy of merchandise, of tops, of everything else, the more the club makes on and off the pitch. It means that they can then reinvest that into the playing side of things. So the more Adidas makes behind us and the club store does reopen, nicely refurbed in June, uh, the more we can invest hopefully that summer and beyond for players and everything else to get us back up the league on the pitch as well so it's all happening here at St James's Park obviously we've got that store behind us getting refurbished in the summer when Stack Cellar Foundsman will hopefully be open in the summer as well in June for that England game and for obviously the Euros where they can show the games on there and then every match day next season and then obviously just down there you will have the uh, the porter cabin you know you will have the, the prefabricated containers as a temporary club shop to get rid of all of the current cast store merchandise and there's a lot of it and a lot of it is very cheap as i've said so let me know what you think on the club shop what would you like to see from it that would be getting done any changes from castor adidas i know obviously castor have had plenty of complaints in the past mainly online stuff really for the quality of stuff for the deliveries on things um all that you know like people are waiting absolutely ages and then they were receiving bloody rangers kits and villa kits and all this and me, me myself i got the home kit actually from the club shop and i had a tear in the neck so i had to take it back literally the next day so that was terrible to be fair when that's bad crack when you're paying 65 quid so we know obviously adidas's quality will be better 
and everything will be looking better. Everything will be looking nice and fresh come the summer here for the start of the new season at St. James's Park. Remember people, Show Stars Camp is a performing arts camp starting in Gateshead this Easter holidays and every school holidays to keep your kids entertained during those school term breaks where you can uh, get your kids involved in dancing, singing, performing arts, all of that. You can email showstarscamp at gmail.com for more info. Drop your comments below, people, what you just want to see from Adidas next season. Are you excited for the stack fans or anything else that I might have missed in this video? Please do subscribe if you haven't already. Give a big thumbs up and enjoy yourself.